Hey guys, it's Rice Cup here, man. Welcome back to the channel. And anyways, welcome to episode 101, the official return of the original Iron Man series. Mr. Ironbar is back. Now, if you guys came here recently because of the Hawker Iron Man series and you still choose to stay after that series has ended, thank you guys so much for your commitment to watching the videos. I really, really appreciate it. Now, I want to make sure that everybody, new and old, is going to be enjoying the reintroduction to the Iron Man series as great as possible. So, for those of you guys that have been watching the series to begin with, welcome back, man. So, I know a lot of you guys really wanted to know, like, just what would have happened, you know, to the hardcore Iron Man had I not died or just never died, you know, had the series gone for a hundred episodes. Well, I have a suggestion, I don't know if you'll take it or not, but I checked the original Iron Man, you know, series playlist and I realized that the pacing in which like both the characters progress is about the same in terms of episodes. It's crazy. So where I left off on my Hardcore Iron Man series on episode 36, my original Iron Man series actually picked up on episode 37. So for those of you guys that wanted to see an alternate version of the Hardcore Iron Man had it like never died and you want to see like its full potential then please watch from episode 37 of the original Iron Man series all the way to the current episode which is 100. So you have yourself 67 episodes to binge watch, okay? Except only this time, I don't have to worry about dying. So Mr. Iron Bar is the original old school RuneScape Iron Man series that I started about, i say a year ago? And I'm still not done with the series yet. And my Hardcore Iron Man series was directly inspired from this series. The only reason I was able to get that far on my Hardcore Iron Man all the way to Zora without dying is because of all the experience that I've gathered playing on Mr. Iron Bar. You can say that Mr. Iron Bar is its predecessor and also its spiritual successor. So I urge my new viewers to watch from episode 37 of the original Iron Man series instead of watching today's episode because I guarantee you guys 100% that you guys will enjoy the newer episodes a lot more if you have seen the past episodes of Mr. Iron Bar's achievements because let me tell you, there is a lot of stuff that you don't want to miss so just to make it easier for you guys to access this I'll be putting episode 37 link at the end of this video in the description and also in the comments so just click on the link to wherever is convenient for you and just enjoy the ride so without further ado, enjoy so hopefully everybody is caught up with the series, but uh, just in case, this guy, you know, he is really, really high level at this point. On the last episode, I ended up getting my Ranger Boots, which uh, got me the Vagation Boots. I've had that crystal for a long time, I was just waiting to get the Ranger Boots. And also in the last episode, I got myself 99 Slayer. So what is the current goals right now? So let's just make this very clear, I am currently going for God Wars items right now so i can say that i'm kind of like halfway done i've completed the saradomen uh, items i've almost completed all the bandos items i just need to get the hilt and as for armadale and zamrak i don't have any items from them yet except for the spear so i plan to uh, get those two completed you know as soon as i can and also now that raids are out i definitely want to participate in some raids now that i know how to you know do raids uh, pretty efficiently now and hope to get some really good rewards i mean i'm especially looking for some you know nice prayer scrolls for that rigor uh, for the augury maybe a twisted bow anything from raids really except for like a dragon sword okay i'll probably still be happy if i get that early but like anything from raids would be an amazing accomplishment to get on the iron man so those are like the two main goals for now so on the side i'm always working on some clue scroll stuff right now i have this master clue right here where i need to basically get myself an infernal axe and in one of the more recent episodes i actually got myself the smoldering stone i think i need to get to 85 yes 85 fire making and then i can uh, work on this master clue and it is uh, pretty close to finishing so that's nice okay First raid since counter on the Iron Man. Uh, one hour. Need some adjusting. A bit of adjusting because of the, you know, drop mechanic. Yeah, it should be better next time. Oh my god, 17 HP for the kill. Alright, 300k reward, man. Not bad. Good herbs for the 90 or boot. There you go. Oh, wow. Damn. 36 minutes, though. That's the fastest raid on this guy. Can't believe I did 7 race today. 
Damn, Metal Aura. Oh, Soul Rune. See, 250k. Damn, I totally forgot about my kingdom on this account. So that means I need to make some money and <laughs> put some money in the kingdom again. But luckily for me, I have so much alcohols on this guy. I could just get the money back really fast. So all good. Okay, so I just found some you know random alcohols in my bank, and I'm just gonna go ahead and out these. All right, 50 mil should last me a long time because I just buy daily battle staffs and whatnot, and you know do my kingdom so yeah 50 months should last me a long time come on baby almost dead 65k points man this is good <gasps> oh my god no fucking way what <laughs> holy shit Holy shit. I can't believe it, bro. Wow. The luck is back. The luck is back, bro. Give me that goddamn dense bar. Thank you very much. Although, what the hell do I use the shield for is a good question, but... Yo, man. That, that's fucking awesome, man. At least it's not a dragon sword, okay? Alright, anyway, so this is how it's gonna work. I, I'm doing raids with uh, non Iron Man, so obviously I don't want to juke them out of their split, so I'll just be splitting all my main accounts. So this is 37 mil, so all, everyone's gonna get like essentially 12.3 like, mil split. So yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, give my partners 12.3 each. And that's just how it's gonna go for uh, every raid. If I get something, I'm gonna put this on and see what it's like. Yo, that's nice. It's got like a mode that doesn't attack, but like it reduces like 30% of damage or something if you have this mode on. And then you have the pummel one, which you can actually attack and it has massive defense. Look at this shit. Holy hell, dude. 150 defense, man. That's insane. Wow, that's nice though. Alright, I'm definitely going to try to find some uses for this shield though. There we go. We just got my first level in a super long time on this account, which is 82. I hope to get the 85 by maybe tomorrow. Then we finally see what the Master Clue awaits us. I have still have not gotten any unique items from the Master Clue, so I'm trying to get one. There we go. Just hit 83 fire making. So that's gonna be it for today. Then we're gonna wrap up the last two levels tomorrow. Got my first chew bone in a long, long time. Okay, we're gonna start the uh, chew bone collection again. Try to burn these things for the Dragon Foham. So in all my time of playing on this account, I've only set one super RNG goal and that RNG goal was to get the Fissage, okay? It's 1 in 10,000, so I could like never be seeing this Fissage forever and ever, okay? But because I've already invested so much, you know, time and effort into getting the Fissage, I really want to go ahead and complete this. So I have like 8,000 Wyvern kills on this guy and probably a few thousand in other dragons as well. So yeah, I'm already way above the drop rate at this point. So whenever I have to do a lot of AFKing, I'll probably go back to Wyverns like this and just, you know, bang these out and hope to get the Fissy one day. Wow, that was close. Oh man, I got a Torn Prayer Scroll. Wow. Oh, and, oh man, I mean... It's not that I unlock anything really useful, but hey, I'll take it, man. Preserve. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's go ahead and read the Torn Prayer Scroll. Might as well unlock this. Alright, learn preserve. Thank you very much. That just looks a little bit better, you know, having uh, more things glowing. Alright, Rigor and Augury, you're next. Well, my block list on this guy is quite different, you know, from my hardcore just because I blocked these like Dust Devils and Gargoyles just because they used to suck. <laughs> they didn't give anything. So I'm going to unblock these because yeah, they're relatively fast. I can burst these guys so the tasks I can finish in like 20 minutes or something. Gargoyles, it's just always good cash. It's really easy to, you know, get enough GP for whatever I need for my daily stuff. So I'll unblock these two. These three will stay though just because I hate Cave Kraken. They're mad slow. And... Yeah, the other two is the same reason. They're just mad slow. But I'll probably uh, end up blocking uh, two other things or maybe three other things. I've unlocked all the slots. Okay. Yeah, there's some things I would definitely block because they don't drop anything that I really need. and Or they're just too slow and they also don't drop anything that I really need. <gasps> Ooh, nice. 
Oh my goodness, yo, I just got myself a Bruma Torch. Although, you know, that doesn't help me do anything, but hey. At least it's something interesting, you know, that actually happened from freaking, you know, Winter Todd. Yo, check this out, man. I did not think that Winter Todd was going to provide me any content whatsoever. But this isn't bad at all. I got a, myself a, a Tome of Fire. This shit's pretty damn rare. And, oh, yeah, I got some pages, too. Let's see here. 45 pages. That I think I can use this book for a little bit, but... If I don't use uh, combat magic, like Fire Strike or something, and I use High Level Alchemy, then this counts as like infinite fire rune, so that's actually really nice. Oh, huh. It'll come in handy. I probably won't use it for combat because I want to use this forever and ever, but not bad. Uh, I got the torch, this, and the top now, so from 119 KC, not bad. 1% left. And there it is. 85 motherfucking fire making, man. This is literally lit. And now I can create the Infernal Axe for my Massacre. That is what is up! Okay, not a bad haul though from, you know, all this Winter Talk grind. And I'm one level off 2050 total as well. So yeah, we can finally continue this Massacre. Don't troll me this time, I have what you need, the Infernal Axe, so... Let's do this. Yes! Okay, new clue, here we go. What is it? It's a hot and cold clue, so it's not too bad. I can definitely do that one. So this is where I usually start off my hot and cold. I am already here. Alright, let's continue. That's it. Wow, the very minimum steps. We are already done with this master clue. Okay, that was absolutely worth the grind. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Anyways, not the worst. I got two magic seeds, which is pretty, you know, bank. And, um... Yeah, got myself 60 limber roots. I always need those as well for potions. So I do have all four different types of clue scrolls as well. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and do all of them. All right, medium clue time. Oh, nice. Got myself a pink boulder. Oh, nice. It is a unique item. Perfect. Got that done too. Ah, hard clue scroll. What surprises await me? Oh, wow, man. I just made a killing today with this clue. Nice. Rune plays card G. Seradum and Vambracers. Nice. All that's left is this elite clue, man. What is that? Dragon Squish your ornament kit. Oh, damn, dude. And a Master Clue Scroll. And a Black Dehyde Body G. Wow. Damn, dude. That's crazy. I remember when this was like 3 mil or something. I sold one of these before. Back in the day. Oh, man. Okay, that was really worthwhile because I don't think I have this ornament kit, yo. I'm, I'm going to check this out. Okay, let me see if I have myself here a Dragon Square Shield. I probably do. Yeah, I do! Awesome. Hey, I can use this bad boy on here. Oh, nice! That looks good. That looks good, man. And this Master Clue. I gotta do this then. Let's go. Please don't ruin this Master Clue for me. I, like, this is probably the end of this step. It can hold down a boat or crush a goat. This object you see is quite heavy. Barrel chest anchor? Uh oh. Hey, that's nice, man. Purdue's got all these, like, you know, untradeable stuff that I can just buy back. So, um, yep, it's time to break my bank and get myself a barrel chest anchor. But it's worth. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Barrel chest anchor shown for the chest. Yes! Hell yeah, man. Feels good to actually be able to finish these master clues, man. Oh, come on, man. 50 wines of Zammies. Pretty good for the range spots, though. I'll take it. Okay, so I decided I'm probably not gonna do, like, easy uh, mediums, you know, those clues anymore, just because I don't really need anything from it. And if I continue to do them, I'm gonna have, like, so much uh, leftover items that won't fit in my bank, so then I'm gonna have to end up dropping it anyways. So instead, I'm just gonna cash it into Watson, you know, to get Master Clues. They're way more exciting. So, yeah, anyways, let's see. I need an easy clue, medium clue, hard clue in order to get the master clue. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm just going to cash those easy, medium ones from now on for them. Masters. So, I have read everybody's comment on episode 36 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. All 700 plus of them. And I am honestly going to tell you I'm quite humbled by you guys because a lot of you guys were very supportive. Despite the fact that I let a lot of you guys down. And it still sucks. 
uh, quite a bit but yes I am pretty much over it now at this point like 99% over it but honestly I was pretty scared to upload that video because I know that I was probably gonna get like derailed by you guys or something you know I thought you guys were gonna be incredibly pissed that I died and you know I couldn't continue the series but yeah most of you guys were quite understanding and it's pretty crazy because a lot of you guys actually commented and saying that like the series ending was really sad like some of you guys even said like you cried like I didn't even cry but I definitely had a really hard time sleeping that night and yeah it was, took a, a day or two to really just get through most of it myself but damn so I guess at the end of the day I did create a really unique series that I can be proud of it was quite different from my normal Iron Man even though the path might have been the same just the idea of like you know being able to last as long as you can with one life and you know try to achieve some incredibly dangerous uh, goals was just so thrilling and of course Revy uh, emotionally gut wrenching so anyways the original Iron Man is coming back in full force it took me a day or two to readjust to it but yes the four months like off from this guy has really reinvigorated you know my uh, desire to play on this account again for sure so we're gonna wrap up that God War stuff hopefully we're gonna wrap up some raids items hopefully and a few more things and don't forget to start from episode 37 of the original Iron Man series if you are a new viewer it should be on the screen now so definitely go and start from there whenever you have the time and besides that thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days take care guys